Hello and for today's video we're going to talk about how to create an MSIX application package. What is MSIX you might ask? MSIX is Microsoft's new entry into application packaging. It's intended to be the de facto standard for packaging up your Windows applications in a simple and modular and user centric way. Under the hood it's a bit of a blend of FS Logix and AppV. As I said it's intended to be very simple and easy to use. Only time will tell how easy it is actually to use in the real world when it gets to deploy all those difficult applications but there's certainly a lot of promise and a lot of noise about it coming out of Microsoft. So it's something we're going to say a lot of whether it's successful or not, I guess. And the purpose of this video is to just show you how to create a simple MSIX application package. We're not getting into MSIX app attach yet. We'll cover that in a separate video. This is just how to create a basic MSIX package and deploy it to your users. Now, there's a couple of things you need to do before we start creating an MSIX application package. Main one thing is to get ourselves a packaging machine, right? This is basically a clean machine that we do the package capture on. It's sometimes called a sequencer. We're going to call it a packaging machine. And what happens is you restore it to a clean state before you start creating any application packages. Now, obviously, the best thing to do for this would be to use a virtual machine. So if you've got any kind of hypervisor, Hyper-V on Windows 10 would do it, spin yourself up a virtual machine. Now what you also need to do on this machine is you need to install the MSIX packaging tool. It is available quite easily, you can just go to Google, type in MSIX packaging tool as we're showing here, and download it from the Windows Store. Now the easiest way to do this is to install the MSIX packaging tool onto your virtual machine that you're using for packaging. If you do it that way, remember that the Windows packaging machine, the VM, has to be Windows 10 version 18 or 9 or higher. If you want to do the packaging on an older operating system, what you'll need to do is install the packaging tool on a separate machine, so a Windows 10, 18 or 9 or higher, and then connect remotely to the packaging machine. But the easiest way really is to have your packaging machine with the MSIX packaging tool installed directly on it. Don't want to make it too complicated. Now, once you've got your packaging machine and you've installed the operating system on the VM and you've got all your patches installed and you've got the MSIX packaging tool there as well, don't install any other software on there at all. Don't even install anything like antivirus software. It's very important to keep it as clean as possible so that we only capture the application that we're looking to capture. Nothing else gets captured along with it. Once you've done that, once you've got all the patches installed and the OS installed and the packaging tool installed, you need to create a snapshot of that machine so you can roll back to it afterwards after you've done your application packaging. So if, like me, you're on Hyper-V, you can do it like this way by taking, taking a checkpoint of the machine. Whatever virtual machine technology you're using will have its own way of creating a snapshot. So make sure you get that done. So as I said, just a quick rundown of that. Install yourself a packaging VM, install all of the patches, install the MSIX packaging tool, make sure there's no other software on there, take a snapshot, and then you'll be ready to start the capture process. So, to get down to it, how do we actually create the MSIX application package? First thing you need to do is obviously log on to your packaging machine. And then what we need to do is actually get the software. Now I'm assuming you've got the actual software, the source files that you want to install, whether an MSI, an execute, whatever. You may have them in a repository, you may have them have to download them from an online source. If you don't have source files or if you just have things like AppV packages or things like that, we can convert those to MSIX as well. We'll be discussing how to do that in a later video. But for now, let's just assume we actually have the source files. So I'm going to go to an online repository that I have of my source files and just grab them from there and copy them down to the local packaging machine. Obviously, because we've taken a snapshot beforehand and we're going to revert to the snapshot when we've finished, this means you don't have to worry about copying files to the local machine because they're going to get wiped out as soon as you restore back to that snapshot. So let's just take, as an example, we'll use this one, which is Virtual DJ. Let's just copy that across to the packaging machine and then we can use it. 
right. So next, what we need to do is actually run the MSIX packaging tool that we installed as part of our prerequisites. It needs admin access, so make sure you've actually got them. It's always a good thing. You can choose to accept or decline the diagnostic data, and then you get these three options here. We're creating a new application package, so click on the first of those buttons to create a new application package. Right, as I mentioned earlier, you can either create the package on this computer, which is the way I'd recommend to do it. You can connect to a remote machine or even a local virtual machine using Hyper-V. Obviously, if you want to package on older OSs, we'll show you in a later video how to use some of the second options. But right for now, the easiest way is to simply create the package on this computer. Now, when you click on Next here, what it will do is actually do some pre-flight checks. It'll check if the Microsoft packaging, uh, the MSIX packaging tool driver is installed. It'll disable Windows Update because you don't want Windows Update running in the background and updating things and downloading files while you're trying to capture that. And it will also come up with some other recommendations as well that you can optionally select. So it's here that the packaging tool driver is installed. It's disabled Windows Update for us. And we can also choose to do the recommended actions which is disabling Windows Search and then click on Next. Now, first of all what you need to do is actually choose the installer that you want to package. So I've put this on the desktop so we'll just insert that in there. You can put in any installer arguments option there. Now, next we come to signing. Now, when you deploy MSIX packages to machines, it's important to sign them. You don't want the users in installing unsigned packages. You can choose to sign it with Device Guard, but that means signing in with Microsoft, or you can just use a PFX certificate file you created earlier. I would always recommend actually making sure it's signed. And obviously, that certificate has to be on the machines that are going to run this. We'll talk about ways of deploying that in future. Now, you could use a self-signed certificate or something like that. But we've already created one earlier, and I'll just browse to where it's located in this Pygen folder, and we'll just select our certificate there. We have a password with that, make sure that's in as well, and just click on Next. Now, it's also important to fill in all the relevant details down here, if I can get the right bit for the publisher. Give it whatever name you want to put in there, package name, a display name, put the publisher, name in there and give it a version. This one's actually pulled the properties from the actual file, so it's put the version in there. Another thing to do is if you're delivering it to machines that are Windows 7 and above older operating systems, you can choose to tick this box to add support for MSIX Core. And I generally do that because I often end up doing packages for older machines. Once you've done that, click on Next and it will actually launch the installer. If you're familiar with AppV, you're probably pretty familiar with the way that it's doing it through this uh, packaging tool here. So you can go into the advanced options and choose whatever you need, but I don't need to do any of that. We're just going to click install. And right now, as it installs, it's going to capture all of the changes to the machine and wrap them up into an MSIX file. Right, you can see that it's finished doing the install. Now, if you needed a restart at this point, you can click restart machine and it'll reboot and then relaunch the package editor afterwards. We don't need to do that. Now, what you need to do is actually do a first run of the applications. Now, they say you're supposed to be able to run it from here by right-clicking and choosing run. Well, that doesn't actually work. So what you'll need to do is actually just run it directly from the shortcuts, either on the desktop or in the start menu. Make sure it's run for the first time. Nothing for us to configure here, so let's just make sure it runs okay. And then we shall just quite simply close it down, switch back to the packaging tool, and then click Next. Now it's going to stop listening for the capture now, so you're asked to confirm, so click Yes, move on. Now it starts preparing your package. Just give it a minute here to finish. There's no services in there, so that's good. Click on Next. And then you've got to choose where you'd like to serve it. I'm going to serve it into that packages folder that we went into earlier. So let's just bang it in there and let's give it a name of virtual DJ. Let's just click on save there. You can edit the package here now. We're all done. Let's click create and let it go off and create our MSIX package. And that's it, it's done. You can choose to edit it further now if you want to, or you can simply click close and it'll clean up the environment after itself and the package is actually 
fully created. And right now, we're done with our sequencing machine, our packaging machine, and we can go and roll that back to a snapshot to ensure it's ready for the next application. We want to package. Now, how is, easy is it to deploy this MSIX package we've just created to another machine? Now, if we switch back to this machine here, which is my main Windows 10 desktop, and have a look down through the start menu here, you'll see under V, there is no mention of anything for V. Virtual DJ is not installed, right? Well, let's actually just browse across to that repository that we set up and have a look for the Virtual DJ package. Let's drag this over here. If we scroll down at the bottom of here, see the MSIX files are here, there's Virtual DJ. If we simply right click on that and choose install, you'll be able to see over here, it gives the option to install Virtual DJ and it tells the user that it's signed by a publisher. If I simply click install on here, it'll run through and do the installation directly onto my machine. So now if we look in the start menu here, you can see right at the top, Virtual DJ 2021. And if I now choose to launch it, it's always going to launch on the wrong screen. We go at long last. And now we can say that it's running perfectly on this machine and it's even enumerating all of my music into there as well. And that's how easy it is to install. And when it comes to uninstalling, you just simply need to go into the apps section over here and find virtual dj in this list which will be there somewhere right there choose uninstall and the package is now removed it's that easy for the user to find an app that you've created an msx package install it and uninstall it for themselves. Now, there are smarter ways you can deploy these things automatically onto machines based on a user's group memberships. Well, that's something that we'll cover in another video. But there you go, just for now. That's how easy it is to install, uh, to create an MSIX application package, and that's how easy it is to deploy it to your user's machines.